Hi, 911. Yeah, I'd like to report a robbery at 250 Gale. Uh, the victim is Colin Castleton. Yeah, thank you. All right, appreciate you. Uh, the all SEC teams dropped, and Colin Castleton was absolutely robbed because there were nine players on the first team, and he was not one of those nine players. Uh, he was on the second team and kind of voiced his displeasure, his displeasure with being left off of the first team. Um, and don't get me wrong. Like, I know there are players who were more deserving. Like, Oscar Sheba is someone that I'm not going to say Colin Castleton should have made the All-SEC first team over Oscar Sheba. I'm not going to say that. Oscar Sheba, dominant dude. Just, like, an absolute dominant player. I think he should have been the Naismith Player of the Year. I, I think he's a freak. He was the only player in the SEC to average double-digit rebounds. And he averaged 15, slightly over 15 rebounds per game. Like, he's a freak. And a double double machine. Like I, I'm, I'm not taking anything away from him. Obviously, he's one of the exceptions. Um, Jabari Smith, you know, phenomenal player, potential first overall pick in the draft. I think he's great. We saw him against Florida, and he kind of took over in that second game. But I, I, and I think he's better than Colin Castellan as well, or more deserving at least of this All SEC first team. And the list isn't really broken down by position. It's just a list of players because, of course. There's nine players. You can't go point guard, point guard, shooting guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center, whatever it is. I ain't doing the math for you. I think I left one off. I don't care. But um, I don't need to talk just big men. That's that's the great thing about it, about it not just being, you know, center, power forward, center, power forward. I have to talk about everybody in the list because, yeah, Jabari Smith and Oscar Sheboy, deserving. Good for you. Um, however, there are some players that are – how do I phrase this without being like super disrespectful? Um, that we're not as good as Colin Castleton and we're not as deserving as Colin Castleton. And I think that's totally fair to say. Like we can look at, um, I don't know. I'm like, all right, just looking at the list. Let's go down the list. We got Jabari Smith, we got Oscar Shiba. Good. JD Note, Scotty Pippen Jr. and Iverson Molina. I get it. The three leading scorers in the conference, you got to have the leading scorers on there. So I understand their presence on this on the first team over Colin Castleton. I totally get it. But, but like Santiago Viscovi, <laughs> like like you're going to you're going to look at Colin Castleton and Santiago Viscovi and tell me Santiago is the one that deserves it? Yo, like, are, are you okay? I, I, I don't know how he made the team over Colin Castlin. That one is laughable. You can look at Tari Eason. Um, <laughs> I, I don't see that one. I, I don't get it. He's a decent scorer. He's a decent rebounder. But top nine in the SEC as a player? Like, like he's not as good a scorer as Colin Castlin overall. He's not as good a constant, consistent scorer as Colin Castlin. He's a little bit better from outside the arc, but guess what? He hits like one three a game. That's one more than Colin Castlin hits. I don't care. So he's not as good a scorer as Colin Castlin. He's certainly not as good a rebounder as Colin Castlin. And he's not as good of, of a defender as Colin Castlin. So I don't get that one either. That's a bit weird for me. Walker Kessler. Are you joking? I totally get it blocks wise. Defensive, go ahead. Go, put him on the defensive team. That's fine. Rebounding is okay. I don't think he's that great of a rebounder either. Um, but he's completely non existent on the offensive side of the ball. You know, like like <laughs> we didn't see Tyson Chandler making all making all NBA teams or all NBA first team. We didn't see that happen. Even when he won Defensive Player of the Year, he wasn't all the all he wasn't all defensive first team. Like, come on, man! And Walker Kessler being on the first team in general is a joke. Walker Kessler being on the first team over Colin Castleton is an egregious offense, and it, it's just disgraceful. And I also like I don't want to hear because specifically when you talk about guys like Walker Kessler, I hear I've heard quite a bit. Uh, team success you know on a winning team on this on that um i don't know how to put this respectfully either so i'm just gonna say it no that's a dumb answer like that if you say that that's a stupid answer because you got scotty pippen jr and iverson molinaire on there and guess what florida florida was better than both of them so no 
That's also not a valid excuse. The only valid excuse you have for excluding Colin Castleton from not being on the all SEC first team is that he missed six games with injury. That is the only valid excuse. And even then, I don't think it makes sense. Like, I, I don't think that's a valid enough reason that he missed six games out of the 31 that the Gators have played. And you're going to tell me that that was good enough to keep him off the all SEC first team. No. And also I think it's even more impressive that he missed those games and was as dominant as he was. And that you can look at Florida and you could say without him, they're a bottom three, bottom four team in the SEC without Colin Castleton. It's as simple as that. He's one of those rare types of players too, where, he can go off for 15 points or 20 points on any given night without being a threat from behind the, from behind the arc. He doesn't shoot threes. He he barely shoots mid-range shots. He's not that guy either. But he's so dominant in the post that he can go off for 15 or 20 or 29 against Jalen Williams. Hmm. And, and, and he's not like, like, like he's not out here hitting open threes and then transition threes. He's doing all his dirty work in the paint and in the post. And for him to not be included on that list is an absolute joke. Colin Castleton, not being an all sec first team player is a joke and a disgrace to the system. And it's absolutely horrible. And they should be ashamed of themselves for leaving him off of that list like that that is just a, an atrocious atrocious joke and genuinely you should feel bad you are bad and you should feel bad if you left Colin Castleton off that list it's as simple as that thanks for making Lockdown Gators your first listen of the day every day we are available daily and free wherever you listen to the podcast we'll be back tomorrow with more on your Florida Gators now make your second listen Lockdown NFL Draft Ryan Tracy and former NFL cornerback Eric Crocker bring the NFL Draft to life every day with insight and analysis on college football prospects and NFL front offices. For Locked On Gators, I'm Brandon Olson. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at WNS underscore Brandon. Find all my written work with Whole Nine Sports. That is W-H-O-L-E and I any sports, and I'll see you all tomorrow.